Right, good morning. Uh, here we are with uh, Schmasix phase two, the next part of your Schmasix videos to explain the new grammar in GCSE Latin. Uh, here we introduce conjugations, then we go into the future tense and the imperatives. Both the future and the imperatives rely on conjugations to be understood properly, which is why we're doing it in this order. So here's the uh, the old slide you're used to of what you should know before you start the basic Schmasix course. And here we have the verbs that you should now know. So we've got the present tense, the imperfect and the perfect tense, and then you've got the infinitive as well. Um, that ought to be familiar to you now. And here we have a whole series of verbs. Looks a bit scary, but it isn't. Um, and for each verb, I've given you three forms. So you get the present tense, the I form, ending in O, acipio or rideo. You've got the infinitive, the two form that ends in RE. And you've got the perfect tense, the I form of that. So AKP is I accepted, I received. Um, Respondi is I replied. VC is I smiled or laughed. So you get the idea. You've got the present tense, the infinitive, and the perfect tense. And these three are called the principal parts because from these we can form the whole of the rest of the verb. They're really important. Now, can you see how they form patterns? Can you see, for example, that some of them have got... Um, I-O in the present and I-R-E in the infinitive. Uh, this one, for example, and this one here, our D-O, our D-R-E. Whereas this one here has got I-O in the present tense, but just E-R-E in the, in the infinitive. So it's slightly different. There are five patterns here. And if I click on the next slide, you can see the five patterns colored up. So you've got the ones I was talking about, E-O and E-R-E in green. You've got E-O, E-R-E in blue, like these here. And you've got the old ones used to, Porto, Portare, O, R, A in red, um, A, O, R, A in uh, purple, E, O and E, R, E, a long E there. And then the one in grey, um, or black actually, which is the same, is O and R, A. Okay, so if we now put these into columns, we get this. Okay, five conjugations, one, two, three, four, and mixed. And you can see how the first two principal parts in each column are the same. O, R, A, A, O, R, A, O, R, A, E, O, E, R, A, and E, O, R, A. And that's important for working out the future tense and other parts of the verb. Because if we look at this one, this is how the future tense goes for the five conjugations. We see that in the first two, it uh, ends in a B, B, O, B, S, Bo, Bis, Bit, Bimus, Bitis, Bunt. In these two, that's I will walk, I will have. But in the third, fourth, and mixed conjugations, a different set of endings is used. Am, es, et, amus, etis, ent. So the vowel becomes an E, except for the I form, the first person singular, when it's an A, and the M on the end. You may remember from the BAM of the imperfect. So am, es, et, amus, etis, ent. So you have to know which conjugation you're in to work out the future tense. And lastly, the imperatives, um, again, go by conjugation a bit. These are the commanding forms. Here are the principal parts of the verbs. At the bottom here in bold, you've got the commanding walk, warn, drive, ar um, arrive, and receive. And the singular, and then the with the T on the end, the plural form, if you're shouting at more than one person. And that's your lot.